Let's get to it. Okay. Joe Crack the Dawn has never been a rat in his life. Has never told on a person in his life. I kill myself before I tell on somebody. Let's be clear about that. Right? Now, with that being said, you have to realize whether you know it or not, I'm at another level in my life. I work very, very hard to get to where I'm at. So I have friends, the biggest in the world, the biggest in the game, hitting me up. Yo, Joe, don't respond to these people. You bigger than that. Yo, Joe, don't this and this and that. They're trying to bring you down. Because you know that yesterday's price is not today's price. And mind you, I'm in Hermes. So now let me uh, get this going, right? So now, today's about love or hate. Today's about love or hate. Now, meaning, we call people haters, but are they really haters or do they hate that people love you? I repeat, we call people's haters, but do they really hate you or they hate that people love you? Now, the type of shit that I'm about to talk about today might be the realest shit you ever heard in your life. Rich people, you can think about them, the biggest guys in the world. If you ever notice why they don't show how they're living, why they don't show their cribs, why they don't do that. Think about your favorite artist, the richest people you know. It's because, unfortunately, people tend to get jealous of people living good and being successful. It's just a fact. Jealous ones still envy. And so they don't choose to show it. Now, Fat Joe, I come from the projects like you. I come from welfare like you. I come from the streets like you. And so when I show that we're in the plane or we're having a great time or we having a, it's only used for inspiration. It's used to inspire you to win. Now, people in the past have never given you this opportunity. People that came before me, even people now. We always have a crabs in the barrel mentality to where we pull everybody down and we never want to see them win or rise to the top. So now, should we focus on the haters or should we focus on the people that hate that people love you? This is a big thing, right? So now let me, I'm going to tell you some shit and I don't want to offend nobody because this is really real. And if you tell me, Joe, you're the greatest storyteller ever in the world, then let me tell you story. I got a story to tell. Okay. Now don't get upset with me because this is going to sound not true, but you could Google everything, right? Uh, a month ago, I never talked about nothing. My brother Muta Bell, Salam Alaikum, he's out in Saudi, formerly known. Please don't call me if you have my number now, guys. I won't pick up ever again. My friend Muta Bell, aka Napoleon of the Outlaws, tells this story that I don't even believe. He says, 20 some years ago, Tupac Shakur, may he rest in peace. Had trouble in the jail. And Fat Joe sent the kite upstate to make sure he was good and he was protected. Now, I, I'm, 
The story's true. I never told, I talk a lot of shit, but I never told that story in 20 years. Because real dudes do real things. So he tells the story. Tupac's right hand man says, yo, Fat Joe saved Tupac. That's hard for some people to digest. This is Tupac Shakur, who I has labeled the realest rapper on the planet Earth. Cool. The next two weeks later, Common, formerly Common Sense, gets on an interview. I never told this story in 20 years. He gets on an interview where he says, Joey Crack, that brother saved my life. I was in, the, in L.A. and the Bloods was going to kill me, as in assassinate me, as in murder me. And Fat Joe jumped in front of it and said, please, because I'm not acting like I'm tougher than, the, than, than my people out there. But I said, listen, I grew up with him. Do it for me. Give me the pass. Do not hurt my brother Common. I grew up with him. He's my brother. He says this in the interview. I never asked him to say that. He says this in an interview. Fat Joe saved my life. Now, let's go forward. Two weeks ago, we throw the Batman, we throw the Terror Squad emblem next to the Empire State Building. You seen the shit. You got eyes. You see me in that Hermes Tiffany blue. This hurt a lot of feelings. It hurt a lot of people. Brought out a lot of jealousy. Now, the place was small. So I didn't want to invite the whole New York City because they would have shut the shit down. Even friends of mine that I know have a problem with bringing people with them. I told them, get dressed. Get your wife dressed, wear some silk shit. And that same night at seven o'clock at night, maybe eight, I send them the invitation so they wouldn't come with 15 dudes. If you from New York City and you know I know you and I love you and you didn't come to the party, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It don't mean no disrespect. A lot of you guys got jealous behind that. So now we tell you about Muta Bell with Tupac. We tell you common sense saying Fat Joe saved his life. Now Fat Joe throws the party of the year. Anybody you name was in there. Everybody, actors, the Canaan, the mother of Harlem, the this. Now there's one point. Chi Chi get the yayo from Scarface. There's one point that really touched a lot of feelings. Shine. Paul, Shine, walks in New York City for the first time ever, changed his life, goes on stage, we all know Shine's history, and says, you are the most honorable. You, 20 years, I know you, you have the most integrity. You're the realest one. We love you. Now that is scary for you hating ass motherfuckers. Now. Look at what's going on here. Look at what's going on here. We're doing And mind you. When I seen the fuckery and the hate. I look back at my Instagram. And as I'm scrolling at my Instagram. I'm seeing private jets, uh, Hermes, fly shit, opening businesses, Drew Barrymore in the hood, uh, yachts. Damn. This is, uh, this is, this, this, I can see why guys get jealous. I can see why there's hate in their blood, right? And so, when 
I look at this, I say, wow. Now, you have to understand, I've been living a half a century with the cleanest face you've ever seen. A lot of guys, they ugly out there. They just, they just ugly. They look tore up. They, they're not the same. I am, guys, the same guy. And so I see these guys and I see where the hate comes from. And I said, man, these guys are washed up 20 years. We never spoke their name in 20 years. These guys are dumb. These guys, are, they washed up. So they cloud chase me. And the only time somebody gets some type of action is when they mention my name and then they got all likes or whatever, whatever the case may be. Now, Jay-Z once said, cut the grass slow and you'll see the snakes. I always say, let your darkest moments bring your most clarity. So they want to fuck with the Teflon reputation. Guys, anybody who ever stepped in front of us, we washed them. Every single one of your favorite rappers, every single street dude, everybody, we washed them. Every time. Guys, I know I'm changed. I know stay in the light. I know I change. Stay in the light. So rock a much finer vodka. I'm talking too much shit, so I, I don't want to fuck up the Pepsi Connect. It's the Wild Cherry. It's still Wild Cherry Fridays. Everybody. We washed everybody. Facts. East Coast, West Coast, North, South, wherever we laid it down. Okay, a lot of guys are hating. But are they really haters? Or do they hate? That people love us. That people show up to a party and show you love. That people show you sincere love. The people know I'm on here a year and a half telling you how to get to the bag. Just now, shout out MarketAmericaShop.com. I'm in North Carolina telling 40,000 unfranchised owners how to win. And so... This is the most fabricated false paperwork I've ever seen in the history of mankind. This is like disgusting. Now, those names you see on there are actual people. Those people really went to jail for 20 years. You guys and your friends was locked up with them. You never heard Fat Joe ever talk. They don't even know me. Those guys on that paper, I never met them. They don't know me. So you put a little white out on a piece of paper and you write Joseph Carter Gina's name. And you guys break my heart if you fall for that. You guys are disgusting. Because I am the one guy who's successful and still walk these streets to show you that there's no difference. You know, a lot of people, they get successful. And everybody's dream is, let's move out the hood. Everybody's dream is, let's make it out the hood. Some people, and most people, and not just famous, just successful people, they may get a good job, get a business, they make it out the hood, they never come back. We never see them again. That's not it, guys. If you get success, why do you think I open up businesses in the hood and give inspiration and hope and opportunity? Because my businesses are nothing else but a baton. Passing it to the next successful person out the hood and say, listen, we don't got to leave. We don't got to go. We could be here and invest in our community. This is sparking an idea in some of us. People's minds, they don't have to be favors. Yo, let's open up businesses in our hood. Let's take care of our own. Let's give back food to the people who need it. Let's send. Yo, you guys, man. Some of you guys, man. You can't wash my socks, man. And it hurts my heart, man. When our people are in trouble in Puerto Rico, I send four planes, a, a million pounds of food and water. 
You guys, boys, y'all the first to talk shit. You break my heart, niggas. Y'all break my heart. Y'all break my heart. Because I'm the only thing smoking out there for you. It's horrible, bro. It's sad, man. And so they jealous. And so Joe Crack, I see these guys. Some of them realer than other. Some of them are real legends. Just because you went to jail when you did some time don't make you a real legend. If we want to talk that street world. A.B., what's good? Just because you did jail time doesn't make you a real legend. Oh, you a stand-up guy you ain't tell? Thank God. Hallelujah. That's what you were supposed to do. When you robbed the lady or you hustled or you did whatever you did, you ain't supposed to tell. It's, we can't give you an award for that. That's just basic truth. You ain't do nothing special. You're not no type of legend. I don't want to go back. I know we in the line. But you do know we had 47 cars at one time. Debated. You guys were getting extorted. Not me. Relax. I let you live in your world of fake we're legends. And somebody called me today. Yo, Joe. I said, man, your man broke my heart, man. Nah, because I'm going to tell you the truth. I never liked your man. Anyway, but your man broke my heart. And you, let me ask you a question. A lot of guys had it popping in the street. A lot of guys got money. A lot of guys are real dudes and are legends. And when I see them, Fat Joe, I show these guys the utmost respect. The greatest respect you could give somebody. I said, let me ask you something. When I come around y'all, do I ever act like I'm better than y'all? Or I see legends from the street like that? Nah, Joe, you always humble, Joe. You always show us love. But you guys break my heart, man. Because everybody out there, they know I was outside for real. You know this. And so people who co-sign a fabricated lie, you know it's a lie yourself. And so it's the bonching chair of the day. Let's get with it. It's the new thing. Yo, let's... Bro. Embarrassing. See, I live by code. I don't sleep with my friends' wives. I never told. I give back. I take care of my family. My son's autistic. His mother want to give him away. I raise him. I'm the one. Percy T.S. is in on this. My brother, I don't expect you to do What you want me to big you up, Percy? You went bad on that. You supposed to. Because when you was locked down, Fat Joe went to visit you every week. When the other dude, it breaks my heart. I got one dude that I was cool with that's a dope fiend that I went to visit him 16 years in jail. 16 years when he came home, I threw him a party. I bought him a Hummer. I gave him an apartment. This guy's talking about me because he's not with us no more. Because if you sniff dope, you cannot be next to Fat Joe. It's disgusting. But you tell me whatever rapper goes visit somebody 16 years in snowstorm. And takes care of their family. Percy, no. When lights was out, who was there for him? They all know. They know Fat Joe paid for over 100 funerals in the hood. Come on, guys. You guys are disgusting. Embarrassing to the code. To the cold. And Tony Sunshine, yeah, he had his issues. He don't have them no more. And he got Rolexes and diamonds and lives great in palm trees, guys. You keep your bullshit to yourself. Anybody with me look good. Anybody not with me no more. Let me tell you something my wife told me one time. She said, Joe, you never let go of nobody. They fuck it up themselves. 
And I always, 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 always try to help people. No matter what. I had one friend down with me. He's from the hood. I try to teach him manners. I took him to Dubai to the fucking the prince of Dubai's palace. He had his pants to his fucking kneecap with his ass crack showing with the thing. Yo, I'm from the hood. I'm from the hood. I will fuck you up in this palace. Pick them shits up. Some niggas can't come. We can't help everybody. You try and they shit on it. You guys made your choice. Fabricating. You know, saying the type of things they saying. That's about the ugliest thing you could say to somebody, bro. That's one of them. That's up there. Shout out to everybody who supports me, keeps it real, knows what it is. Uh, we getting old, man. And people need to get over rap beef and 20 years later and shit like that. Like, you got to grow, man. Real talk. It's getting old. And I get it. Social media got everybody doing some weird shit for likes. You got guys who was once real dudes clowning themselves and now you always look you always thought they was real dude and I'm not talking about anybody in particular but you know social media is a young person's thing even I'm just figuring it out and so when when you my age and you're a little bit younger and you start doing clown shit so somebody could like you ruined your reputation you ruined your legacy dog you, lo- you ruin your legacy. And I'm not talking about specific because this guy, I'm just saying, yo, somebody, if you have a son, he's embarrassed of you. If you have a friend, tell these guys the truth, man. Like, move on. Get a job. Become an entrepreneur. Do something. The rap game is not for you. It's over, dog. And so you keep bringing shit. Like, I mean, I don't got my ass whooped. My ass whoop by 20, 30 guys, and I see them, and I say, what's up to them? It's time to move on. They beat my ass 25 years ago. Am I still supposed to be mad at these dudes? Bro. I mean, 25 years later, you guys have got to stop, man. It's a horrible thing. And, and you fabricating shit. You, you, you know. And the thing is, Billy Blanco, what's up? The thing is, anybody co-signing bullshit that's a real street dude that thinks they're a legend that they did time. You know it's a lie. Why you co-signing and you bunching chando and you with the time and you always hated on Fat Joe and yo and I get it, man. But you got to understand, I've made it my life's work to salute you guys whenever you I see you. I don't act better than you. I could. I don't have to talk to you. None of you. And in fact, yep, yep I figured it out. Let me tell you something. This is for everybody. There's what? 3,000 people on here. Right? Thank you for tuning in. Serge was good. Mayor was good. Anybody that's ever had hate in their blood towards you, you know there's dudes that we cool with, but we not really cool and we tolerate them and might have hung out with them, but you know in your mind that they got 2%, 2% hate in their blood that you know this is a jealous Dude or jealous girl like you know it though we know it you know this guy's jealous you know and then we tolerate them right no more baby not me no more if I think you have 1% hate in your blood 1% that you a little yo don't say what's up to me no more 
It's a new fact. Don't say what's up to me no more. I'm not playing this game of, yo, what's up? And the minute something happens, you want to go bad and start with the rumors? That don't know. If you don't like me, say you don't like me. You don't like me, say it. Be man enough. Y'all don't like you. Cool, use a bum. I ain't got to say what's up to you. A bum to young people, because one time I said it before, and people were like, what is that? A bum is a person who wakes up and drinks Hennessy for breakfast, who doesn't work, who doesn't have a job, and works for their family. They're bums. You know them well. You know them well. And so my thing is, if anybody, I love you, Carolyn, if anybody has 1% hate in their blood for you, whether male or female, get them away. Get them away. They're bad. They're bad seeds. They're bad apples. Don't even come around me. Don't even play it off. Don't even play it off like, yo, what's up? But we know these guys hate. Stay away, bro. Because the time's going to come when they reveal themselves and you might be hit, uh, uh, hurt. Because we're taught by Martin Luther King. We're taught by God. We're taught by Malcolm X to forgive. Be humble, forgive. But you know what? I don't need these people. And so if they got the hate in you, not just me, I'm telling you, listen to me. If you around a circle of people and you know that one girl or that dude hate on you with that energy that you see the malicia, the jealousy in their eye, get rid of them, bro. Don't even pretend. Don't even pretend. I'm telling you, it took me half a century to figure this out. If you 20 years old and you hearing this, hello, you hit jackpot today. You learned some shit. Hello. It took Fat Joe all this time to figure out, guess what? I don't need these haters around me. If I feel like it always happens. And every time I said that to somebody in the crew, a rich, a pistol, a this, that, I wind up having to be the dude checking these guys sooner or later, telling them, yo, do you, do you want to get the business? Because, listen, guys, <laughs> stay in the light, man. Stay, stay in the light, guys. Do yourself a favor. Stay in the light, guys. But I'm I'm telling y'all right now. So if I know you 30 years or I know you 10 years, I know you five years, I know you whatever. And Fat Joe does not say hi to you no more. I know you're a hater. I know that you got hate in your blood for me. And it's sad because you're a jealous person. I'm not doing it no more. I'm not playing it off. If you're jealous, 2%. 2% jealous. I'm not rocking with you for nothing. Yo, don't bring your mans no more, fam. Why? He got hate in his blood. It's over. It's a wrap. And I'm telling you something that took me all these years to figure out. If I learned anything in the last couple of days is no more hot of the haters, no way around you, nowhere near. We eating over here. We sit down, we eating. I don't even know you like that, dog. My man bring you. The first thing you do, you know that I'm not getting along with another dude. You throwing dirt on another dude. Yo, bro, we don't do this here, pipe. Yo, what you saying? Bro, we don't do that here, pipe. Even if I'm arguing with that guy, but that guy's my brother. That guy's my man. That guy saved my life. Who you think you is to come in here and talk something about my brother even though I'm fighting with my brother? I don't fuck with you, man. I'm not that dude. You can't come around me and talk shit about somebody I love or somebody I've been down with. You can't get it. You can't get that off. I don't give a fuck if I fought with Rich Player yesterday. Fuck you, your mother, this, this, that. You're going to come talk to me about Rich Player. Bro, they playing you. They're playing you. 
If somebody tell you, if somebody know you rock with Fat Joe and Fat Joe got real love with you. Booby Smooth. If somebody knows Fat Joe, there's some bullshit and Fat Joe is your man. He rocks with you. He supports you. He's your brother. And they come telling you, yo, I don't know about this. Yo, I don't know this and that. You want to know what, guys? They don't really fuck with you. They hate you. Because you got the big dog showing you love. And there's only one. Let's get this shit clear. Everybody's themselves. There's only one Joe Crack. Only one. And so I'm showing them love. And I show you love. And you jealous because I show your people love. So the minute some shit happens, you want to throw shade. Or throw some shit. You hating on your man.